Hi. <clears throat> I'm Mona. This is Sacred Geometry Universe. Video Journal Diary for December 13, 2023. I was looking at myself, you know. Notice the wrinkles. A lot of wrinkles about my aging. It's okay. I'm not I'm not interested in uh face stuff. I mean, look at Madonna. She looks crazy. She looks terrible. They messed her up. And it's like, aren't these doctors like taking accountability for they're not? No one knows who did that to her. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I I, I honestly haven't really looked into it. But she looks horrible. A lot of the, the ladies, they look horrible. They're starting to post things. Um, I noticed AI generational of like how people would look without. Oh, yeah, they would look better. They would look better if they didn't mess themselves up. I don't suggest facial stuff to anybody. You know, I mean, I'm getting wrinkles in this one. I don't like. I guess I could get Botox, but I'm not into putting botulinum toxin into my face. <laughs> Come on now. You know. If anything, take things off. Don't put them on or put anything in you because you're going to screw yourself up. It's it's just, you know, if it's for your health, then yeah. Nobody needs to fix their face for their health. You're fixing your face because you don't want to get old. You know what? It's too bad. You're going to get old. That's it. That's all. So you might as well just be happy getting old. I'm happy with my wrinkles because before I didn't have a lot. And people are like, wow, how how is your it's it's not it's because i didn't smile a lot in my life when you don't smile and you have no facial expression you're not you're not promoting wrinkles right be proud of the wrinkles you have especially the crow's feet i'm so happy look i have them you know what that means you know what crow's feet means it means that you've smiled a lot that you've had happiness in your life mine aren't very deep or anything but i hope they get deep because i want to be up here as a person who has been happy you know people don't understand it that way they just think of it oh i have wrinkles and you know, go ahead ruin yourself if you want that's not that's not my business i'm just gonna keep it real and just normal <laughs> you know anyways so where's the spot i met a really nice couple they're they're over there uh they're from canada uh, nice nice people she gave me a little jar of uh, relish and she gave me the good kind too uh it's the pickle relish it's not the sweet stuff that sweet stuff nasty Ugh. anyway she gave me that i was really happy because now now when i go because i want to try and i think she made herself uh i want to go and and get like uh sausages or a hot dog or something like that so i can eat it you know um i think that stuff would probably be good in like egg salad tuna salad i don't eat tuna but um yeah you know tuna and the mercury and all that i don't eat i don't eat tuna uh, I, I, honestly I, I don't really eat fish or like fish but i will if it's fresh caught because when i grew up in my mom's she used to buy a fish that was nasty what she got all fishy and bleh. But when you eat fresh fish, it doesn't taste like that. It tastes good. Ta fish taco, everything is so good. So, so, so good. So that's one thing. <clears throat> um, I already forgot what I was talking about because I got so interested in talking about fish. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, the mercury in the fish. Yeah, I don't eat tuna, you know? And only I want to have fresh caught stuff, you know? And if it's just not there, I just don't eat it, you know? Um, but anyways... Uh, yeah. Oh, I would try that with her relish. That's what I was talking about. The relish and the lady. She was very nice. And the husband is very nice. They've been married for a long time. I love to see that. You know, they're set. They're set. You know, like 40 something years. They're set for life for, for good companionship, happiness. You know, <clears throat> one day maybe I'm going to have that too. But for right now, I'm okay right here. Um, yeah, this place is nice. And you know what? It was real sunny earlier. I had the uh, even the solar panel out. It's still out there. It's still catching some, you know, but not much. So I have to put. I have to like. I had to plug in this phone, uh, uh, to the charger because I have a, a separate charging battery thing. So, anyways, <clears throat> I was chit chatting it up with her, and then uh, yeah, the day is nice here. 
and, and she even knew what those I, I saw these caterpillar looking things she even knew what that was uh it's the moths they're little moth caterpillars i don't mess with them uh i don't want to mess with no moths i try to even if I, I try to even leave them out i feel very sad when i see one because they, they go towards the the candles at night i feel very sad when i see them you know in there but it's not my you know i didn't force it in there so like the like like i haven't i think i might have a micey i might i don't know but just to take precaution i went to the store and uh, i bought some mouse trap the kind that they don't like it's humane you know it's not the mouse that's dangerous or yucky it's the fleas from them People don't, you know, the, the mouse fleas. And of course the mouse poop, it's it's yucky. It's the same thing. You don't want your dog poop in the house. Why you want your mouse poop in the house? It's like that, you know. Like it's funny because I watch these shows and like the hoarders and yeah, mouse poop and, and all and, and pee is disgusting, you know. But if if you catch it and you get it out, you know, then you're okay. But it's it's not that that's dangerous. It's the fleas from them. The fleas that the rats and the mice carry, those are dangerous to humans. So, you know, I'm just trying to catch it and get it out. If it's in here, it might have gotten out because when I saw it, I, I grabbed Brian and I said, okay, okay, and he did something and I don't know if it's scared outside or in. I already emptied out the whole bottom here. I emptied out the whole bottom there. This part here is the only place where I have a lot of stuff, right? The thing is, is there's nothing in there that's, like I pulled it out. The only thing that in there that has like a plastic like this is just like these couple things of bread I have, which I think I'm just going to transfer to the step outside because I have a step outside that is absolutely nothing can enter, no water, no nothing. It's sealed. You know, it has all my pancake mix, flowers, and things are in there. Um, even when it rains and pours, it, all that stuff is safe. So I'm going to just stick those in there. Um, but everything else in here is like a can or a jar. No mouse can get in there. I have a coffee. I see I have a coffee thing. I, I'm not sure if mice really like coffee. But maybe I will stick it in another jar or container. Because uh, I went and I got myself a bag of real coffee instead of the uh, instant. And uh, I figured out how to make a nice, stronger cup of coffee. But I kind of like the instant better. I'll be honest. I'll probably just go back um because <clears throat> i don't drink a lot a lot of coffee anyways um so i did i got some some of those i put one down there i put one up there i already emptied out the bottom part there's nothing in there bottom here so the only thing i could think of is that it could have crawled up here or up here or it's just not here and i'm tripping out like up here it's also easy to see stuff there's absolutely no food up there it's just uh, clothing this would be the area that i'm concerned about Maybe I should switch the, the the mouse traps to that area. I don't know. But I'll tell you what, that person thing going to die in here, you know, because eventually I will go in there because I, I do every every so often I go into my stuff and I do a whole clean out and I do it very often, maybe every two month or three months because I forget sometimes what's in there and maybe something in there and I look expiration. Oh, it's all thrown away. You know, like I don't keep expired uh-uh, I don't, I don't like, I'm, I'm not trying to get sick out here, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I, we might stay another night here. This place is confusing. They don't even have the, the slips up for you for overnight camping. Uh, there's no phone number to call to if you want to make a reservation. I had to dig yesterday to, fig to find out who a phone number to call these people it took a lot while and when i finally did get a hold of them they didn't they didn't know what was going on either somebody had to put me on hold and go ask and all this stuff and yeah you know and and they took down the sign for how many days you're you can camp here there used to be a sign it's not here anymore it just says like day use fees and stuff and camping seasonal so there's no there's no information here. So, um, and they're going to turn this place into a, a camping place where it's going to be $25 a night. So I don't know. It's not ready yet. I don't, I don't think they put the trash cans up there and put some little sign posts up, but that's it. Uh, it's $25 a night. They might, they might actually be putting in electric who knows because they're right by the electrical plant and for that price. I would, I mean, I wouldn't, 
I would think they would do that because $25 is too much if they're charging you $2 a day. You spend more time and make more mess during the day than you do at night sleeping. Why would it be $25? You see what I'm saying? So right here, it's not, uh, and I feel bad for the people in the, in the community because like I said before, you know, they've been coming here for, for years maybe and fishing and, and they have a fishing license to come fish here. Why should they pay to come in here when they have their own fishing license? They already paid. So now you want to pay them to fish here? That's, I think that's rude, especially to your own people. Well, what can you do? That's the government's for you. That's the government's trying to squeeze more money, more money from the people any way they can. So, eh, whatever. What can you do, you know? But I think we might stay another night. We might stay another night just because they, it's supposedly going to rain. And if it's raining, if it if it's raining on the day I leave, I'm going to wait an extra day. It's too hard to pack in the rain. Too messy. I don't want to get all the mud and mess in here. No. And, and this place is not regulated. The sheriffs come, which is nice. I love them. Don't get me wrong. Because I, I feel safer. Uh, but they're not here to check tickets or if you paid. They're here to see that the people here or around here are doing good things. They're not committing crimes and everyone's safe. That's that's what they're doing. So I enjoy them there here. I say I wave to them when they come by. Um, I saw yesterday. So I might stay an extra night if that rain. Or I might just stay extra night because I feel like it. <laughs> you know, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it just depends. You guys know I don't I don't normally stay over extra day or unless it's an emergency. But... You know, we'll see. I stayed an extra day at um, Magnolia. See, it's when I do that, I start feeling weird the next day. I, I kind of feel like the, vibe, the vibes are, you know what? The vibes were getting down because I stayed an extra day. Because that lady, that one who was trippy, pulled in right behind me the day I was supposed to leave. And then I could only stay one. I couldn't handle it. I had to leave. You know, it's usually I feel like the universe gives me hints like that. Like, hey, you should have left. That's why we put this person in your back. I don't know. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but you know. So I don't know. We'll see what happens this time. I'm just a little worried about just being sitting in rain, you know. And and also, what's good about this couple I met? Uh, they came from Surfside. Yeah, they came from Surfside, and and uh, I said, so how's the ground over there? So like they said, it's solid pack. I know that. And so I asked, them, Did, were you there during the rainy? While it was raining. And I, I think she said, she said, yes, and it was fine. It was fine. So, I mean, I think I'm okay, but I'm just going to mosey along. <laughs> I'm going to mosey along because there is one spot I wanted to just kind of look at on the way to see. I might. If it's too out of the way, I won't. But if not, I'm just going to go there or to, to the surf side and, and just camp it up, you know, park it up. I got some laundry to do. I got to do laundry. You know, I got some couple of things to do. So, you know. But that's only half of right now. It's a, it's, it's a breezy, I, you know. It's still shower weather. I can still shower any day, you know. Uh, just don't know, know when it's too windy. It's, yeah. Uh, but it's all good. You know, everything is normal. I had a nice dinner last night. Uh, I went and got a whole bunch of ice. Oh, and I found a way to get water, and I got water. So it was okay. <clears throat> so, uh, oh, and the, the, the kids are doing okay, too. They kind of like this place. Chica likes to sit in this pile of, uh, it's not leaves. It's like grass pile. Here, let me show you because she looks cute and comfortable. Ooh, 13 minutes. Sorry, guys. Let me just show you and then I'm going to sign off. Look at her. She is in like the lap of luxury right there. She looks so comfy. <laughs> she looks so comfy out there. Brian, he just always sit next to me, you know. Um, but yeah, that's all I have, you guys. Okay. Oh, it's okay. That's what happens when you get old. Just enjoy it, right? That's me telling myself. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. I'm Mona. This is Sacred Geometry Universe Video Journal Diary for December 14th, 2023, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!